We know that the environment faces unprecedented threats at this point in our human history. But what we do have faith in place though is we don't stop there. We don't just get overwhelmed and depressed. Yes, we learn the environmental science, we learn the bad things that are happening, but then we start to think, all right, let's picture how we can solve these problems and how we can do that. And we have a tremendous amount of hope at the vision of people of faith coming together, standing together and saying, this is indeed bad news, but let's change it to good news. I grew up in Tazewell County in the country next to what we called the Crick, which winded its way through the timber adjacent to our property. As a young boy in church, I was taught that the earth is a gift to us, and it's a gift to us that we are to take care of for safekeeping for current and future generations. As I left that community, went to the University of Illinois, I began to meet different people from different religious traditions, and I learned that all of us share in common this desire to take care of the earth on behalf of our current and future generations. As an environmental sciences major, I began to learn about the threats that our human actions are having to our common land, air, and water. But while I was learning all this, I also learned about this small grassroots organization known as Faith in Place, a organization that inspires people of diverse faiths to better earth care through connection, education, and advocacy. Sola Grazia Farm is a partnership with St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Faith in Place. Together they have turned five acres of cornfields into a diversified production farm that provides fresh local vegetables to over 120 families. Every time I drop off food to our local men's homeless shelter and hear the cook plan the next meal with pride and enthusiasm, I become more sure of my commitment to this farm. And every time I help transfer a pallet of produce to the local food bank and hear from the driver how our veggies are the first to be chosen, I become more invested in our mission. Every day I work with a team of volunteers who wholeheartedly are committing to helping others in this community. I know this farm and the people behind it are truly special. I help make community connections based on sharing food, but our farmer Clay makes sure that there's food to share. My experience running production for Sola Grazia has challenged me and taught me much, and the more I learn, the more I love it. As a farmer, I have access to the highest quality food that nature can produce, and I'm able to share that bounty with others, especially those who can't always afford it. But that's not all. The farm also donates more than 10% of our harvest to local hunger programs, which helps fulfill our mission to make fresh, local food accessible for everyone. Sola Grazia Farm, with the help of Faith in Place in St. Matthew, is building a model that builds community pulling in folks from faith-based organizations, schools, parks, and people in the local food movement. Working with them has showcased the diversity of backgrounds and perspectives that we all bring to this endeavor. And that, combined with our shared values and common purpose, is what will make this project fruitful. My name is Susana Figueroa. To many people, I may not look like an environmentalist. Faith in Place's mission is to be able to give the opportunity to people of color and give them the opportunity to be able to address their environmental issues in their own communities. This is true in my hometown, Waukegan. Our history of manufacturing on the lakefront has led us with a lot of environmental challenges. But in my view, the biggest challenge we face is connecting to one another and to the resources it takes to address our problems. I have worked for government for many years, and I even ran for mayor, and I have dealt with over 40 non-for-profit organizations. Time and time again, I ran against the barriers of mistrust between the institutions of people who could use those resources. In our blue-collar community, it seems like people put their trust in their faith community and nowhere else. I met Faith in Place, and I recognized that the unique opportunity this organization had because it connected to faith communities to help people build up their families and their lives. Because of Faith in Place, I can make those connections to people. I am working with the city government, community churches, and the families to create a special space for our children to learn about the earth and how to care for our creatures.
Charles and I have always been nature lovers. We've done what we could to make our congregation greener, but we recognize that we are not going to be around forever. One of the most important missions of Faith in Place is to help people of faith have an effective impact on the systems, the laws, and regulations that determine whether or not our natural resources will be around for future generations. And that lasting change is going to take more than setting up recycling bins and banning styrofoam cups at coffee hour. We need effective laws for our mining, oil, and gas, and power industries. Through Faith in Place Faithful Citizen Workshops, we got training in what the issues are and how we could influence our legislators to move toward better environmental laws. When we went to Springfield, Eleanor was able to get a key legislator to come out of his office. She went nose to nose with him. She told him, I'm representing hundreds and thousands of faithful citizens who want to see these fracking rules passed. I'm standing here with young people and older people from your district, and our faith has brought us here. And he told us that he would help get the bill passed. This year, we put that training to use in the fight to protect our regional water supply. And we're working on shaping Illinois' clean energy plan to address global warming. We're at the age where we think about what our legacy is going to be. What kind of world will we leave for the next generation? And Faith in Place has given us a way to leave a legacy of love for creation and for our neighbors that will live on long after we are gone. Thank you.